In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a title screen. Now, there's a lot of ways to do a title screen, but I'm going to do it a, a slightly elaborate way. Since your title screen is the your title screen is a level just like any other level, uh, we're going to do it kind of like we would do a, a level, but we're going to do some other things that you may not do when you do a level, if any of that made any sense. So to begin with, we're going to go ahead and do some tiles, and I'm going to do just sort of a little uh, fake Ghouls and Ghosts title screen. I've got some Sega Genesis Ghouls and Ghosts graphics. So uh, the first thing we need to do is we're going to be importing 16 by 16 tiles. Let's select our tiles. There's our tile set. So there are ghouls and ghost graphics. We're not going to import very many of them. And we've got this box we can drag around. If the image, is, if the image was bigger, we could grab uh, some more of these. So that's uh, pretty much where we want it. And this represents the page of tiles that we can see right there. So we're going to hit save and there are our ghouls and ghost graphics. We have this scroll bar. We have hundreds and hundreds of tiles here. But uh, I'm just going to use this little page, so let's go ahead and draw some tiles to the screen. We've got our layers here, and I'm going to put our ground layer onto layer 3. Start drawing this down. And this is very simple stuff. You just click your mouse button, and we can right-click to drag the screen across. Pretty much exactly how you would expect these tools to be used. Looks pretty good. Now let's put in some some other stuff. Let's put in this cross, and we'll put this on layer one so it's behind everything. We'll put a couple of these in. You'll see that because it's on layer one, it's going to go behind our grass. Let's put in the uh, let's put in this thing right here. Put it on layer four. Put a couple of these in. Let's put in the tombstone. Put that on layer 5 so it's in front of everything. And whatever the heck this monstrosity is, we'll put it into. Also put it on layer 5. Uh, let's put it on 4 here. Let's say put it behind the tombstone there. And put another one over here. And we've still got this creepy thing, so we'll put it uh, we'll put it like right there. It looks good. We'll put it on layer 1. So that's looking pretty good. Now let's do some parallax scrolling. Begin by going to the backgrounds panel and we're going to import some graphics. We could right click to just create a new graphic, but we're going to import our graphics. Let's go ahead and delete this, which we just created. And uh, most of the time when you import graphics, it's going to ask you if you want to double pixel them. And anytime you bring in anything retro, you typically do want to double pixel it. So we did it with our tiles because they were 16 by 16, and we and this game uses uh, this engine uses 32 by 32. So if you're importing any old graphics, you typically will want to want to uh, enter that information. So we're looking for the Ghouls and Ghosts parallax. Let's import the sky. There's the sky. So let's begin by dropping in the sky. And you can see that it's uh, it's looping it. We can sit here and drag this, and it'll loop it infinitely. We want to turn off the up and down loop. And we're going to give this an automatic scroll speed. So let's hit the play button and see. It's moving really slow. That looks pretty good. So let's, uh, let's drop in another one. Once again, turn off the up and down. We're going to put this one, let's put it right here. And we're going to give it a little bit faster scroll speed. So we've got two independent moving layers. Let's do one more. Put it right here, and we'll give it a much faster scroll speed. Actually, it's about the same as the last one. And these aren't. This isn't the best. Uh, these aren't the best graphics to do it with, since this isn't how the graphics were used in Ghouls and Ghosts. But uh, you'll get the idea. So here's the our uh, normal parallax scrolling layer. Once again, you can see we need to turn off the vertical scrolling of this. So now we just got uh, this going on. Let's drop it down here and right click. You can see that it's uh, might want to slow it down just a little bit. See, it's just barely scrolling independently. That's that's pretty good right there. And uh, you got all these functions. You can set them to scroll in all sorts of directions. You can uh, you can invert the automatic, which means it'll scroll the opposite direction. And uh, you can lock the starting position, uh, which will always have it start in the exact same spot, no matter where you're at. So there, there's our parallax scrolling. So we hit the play button, and 
since this one doesn't have a uh, an automatic scroll, it's just sitting there. So that's a good start. That's a good start for uh, for our level zero. And uh, next, we're going to create a cutscene, which is going to be used to show our title. So when you go over here to the navigator, I uh, if you're wondering why the screen jumped there, I uh, I'm doing these in clips just in case something horrible happens, so I don't have to redo the entire thing. So we go over to the navigation and go to cutscenes. Nothing horrible did happen, by the way. Um, but uh, just just uh, just to check it. And so the first thing we need to do is let's import our title screen asset. So there's the title. And uh, we need to create a new cutscene. We're just going to call this the title. And now we can drag and drop this to the screen. There's our big meaty ghouls and ghost icon. And you're going to notice that it's tiny, and the reason why it's tiny is because we have not double pixeled it yet. So we need to set double pixel. Now it's big. Uh, the reason why it was showing that before is because uh, earlier when I tried this out I had it set to 200%, so that's why it looked big the first time. So we're going to try to center this up and drop it onto the screen right where we want it. We'll put it about right here. There we go. And so here's our timeline, and we're going to stretch this out. We're going to have this play for a long time, and we're going to set hold at the end, which means this is going to take about a second for this to play, and then once it gets here, it's just going to stop. It's not going to delete the cutscene. It's just going to stay right here. This is pretty boring. Nothing's happening, so we're going to click the start of this, and we're going to change some things. We're going to set the scale to 0%, and we're going to set the blend to 0%. And now watch what happens when I hit the play button. Now it scales in. Let's unselect it. You can see that what's happening is, is we've got a tween effect going. So it's creating a, a blending. So it starts off, the blend is zero, which means it's invisible, and then when it gets to the end, we click the end, it's at 255. The scale is 100%, but at the start, it's at 0%. And we can also move it. If we wanted to move it down, for example, we're going to have it to go down a little bit. Let's see. I want to set the, we don't want it to go to the left or right, so we're going to set this to 339. So now it should move down a little bit when it scales in as well. And that's our uh, cutscene. Everything's saved. We don't have to save it. So let's go take a look and see what it's going to look like. Go back to the World Builder and let's hit the play button. Oh, I have to set the cutscene first. That would be smart. And there it is. So we just created a title screen in about, what, five minutes? Uh, but we're going to dress this up a little bit. Let's go back to the cutscene editor and reload the title cut screen and let me look at my scripting here for a second. Um, I want to have the camera auto scroll so we're going to set a little script in here for, let's see, we're going to put it about right here. So this is a quick script and we can put in lines of code into any of the frames in our cutscene. We can also add music which we're going to do in a little bit as well. We can add another cutscene. We can have cutscenes chained together. We can do an actual script or we can just play a sound effect. But we're going to put in a little quick script here for camera auto scroll X. So let's take a look and see what this is going to look like. You can see what it's done is it's just doing a little scroll after uh, and once it gets to the very edge, you can see the scroll bar going here. Once it gets to the very edge, it should stop. Fingers crossed, and it did stop. So there's our title screen. If we want to hit this button down here, key press skips level, then if the user presses the button, uh, any key on their keyboard, it'll skip to the next level. So let's add some music to this, and I'm going to create my own little software instrument here. So we're going to go to sounds, and we're going to go to the library. Arcade County comes with over 700 sound effects, and many of them are musical in nature. So we're going to look for something that's very uh, eerie sounding. I think I'm going to look for something. Let's see. I like that, those bells, so we're going to call this GNG Bells. We'll go ahead and save it, and let's go to the Music Editor. And let's replace something we're not going to use. We're not going to use the harp, so let's replace it with our bells, and let's start writing some, just some eerie music here. I'm not going to put too much effort into this. A 
simple stuff. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> See how fast you can write music? Poor music at that, but hey, it works, right? At least I hope it works, just kind of doing this with the top of my head. Uh, what do I want here? Save this as title screen music. Let's see what it sounds like. That's pretty good. Let's make it a little bit slower. I think I can live with that. Let's go back to cutscene. We're going to add this to our cutscene. What do we want to add this at? I think I'm going to add it just right at the end. So we'll set it right here. Title screen music. Got a bunch of arrangements in there. Let's see. I think I can live with that. So, let's see if it actually worked, though. So it worked, and this is very crude. This is really just off the top of my head. I didn't plan any of this out, honestly. I had, you know, a little bit of an idea of how I was going to do it. And uh, like I said, if you want to end this title screen, if you want to go to level one, for example, you can just say key press skips level, and then over here on our level clearing, we can then click over here and then set it. If we had another level, we haven't created another level yet, we could do it that way. So that's how you create a title screen, a cutscene. Uh, creating sound effect, turning a sound effect into an instrument. You can also record your own instruments and sound effects as well by hitting the record button over on the sounds panel. Let me show you that real quick. There's other videos that'll show this. See, we could hit that record button and we could record our sounds as well. And so that's that's uh, the conclusion of this video. In the next video, I'm going to show how to create sprites and how to animate them and do behaviors and all the uh, all the stuff that starts to turn uh, the, the, the little things into a game.